So by selecting this video, you're pretty sure that you want to meditate. Otherwise, maybe you select a video that would tell you how to, why it's important or what's good about meditation. So I'm going to get straight into this. There are heaps of scientific modules, research and data that's been collected to show you why meditation is so good. It's great for overall health, mood, teaching you to be less reactionary when negative emotions strike you and wellness, whether you have anxiety or a lack of focus. Meditation will be your number one tool to combat the mind numbing world of distractions and hyperstimulation that we now find ourselves in. Like literally each time I meditate to a deep level where I become in touch with my body, I feel my awareness rooted internally. And I notice that I find a place of complete contentment, a place where I can just, I can open my eyes out of the meditation and I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to think, I don't want to satisfy a craving, a desire, a need. That's why meditation is so powerful because you can come into a place internally where you feel like you have everything you need. It's great when we live in this culture of always feeling like we need more, 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 more. We need something else to boost us, boost us, boost us, give us a lift, give us something, stimulate, stimulation, stimulation. When you can come inside and meditate and let it all fall down by the wayside. That's why it's so key to combat these addictions that you have. Meditation creates a space between you and them and the wanting and the craving and the needing. It brings you back and this is what it does, it brings you back to center. And that thing you were desiring, just to achieve the same feeling you have as sitting back and staying still. That is a massive realization. That you have all you need. And a reminder to get back into alignment with yourself. And I know, I know maybe you've heard the word, the expression alignment in the past. You're not really sure well, what is alignment. You know, you hear in spiritual circles. What does alignment actually mean? It just means, just means you're centered. You're true to yourself. You're not rushing from place to place. You're there. You're not acting out of desperation, out of want or craving. You're already self-satisfied from within. You're aligned. You're aligned with all that you have, all that you are, and you're able not to be reactive. So this is why meditation is your defense weapon against your focus being drained from outside factors. It's, it's your meditation against being drained and pulled this way and that way like a leaf in the wind by outside factors. It's your chance, even after five minutes, to reconnect with yourself, start thinking good ideas again. Start having good ideas come to you. Feel at peace after that five minutes and then want to push on. You don't need to do it for long, but what I notice, I always set the bar super low. One minute, two minutes, three minutes of meditation. And then as you get into it, you'll just want to stay in that place. That place is peaceful, that place is calm. When you're being pulled this way and that way throughout the day, you'll want to get back to that place where you can just meditate. And it's like reset. Okay, we go again. I've had my rest. You've defeated the thing that's saying, oh, I need this, I need this. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want to get up and have this. I want, I want, oh, I've got to get this done. I've got to get this done. I've got to get this. I need, I need, I need, I need. The only thing, you don't need anything when you meditate. When you meditate, you're realizing, wow, I don't need all this stuff I've been saying. My mind's been nagging me. I need, I need to go and get this. I need to go and get this one. I need to go and, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, I feel, I don't feel right. I don't feel right. You literally just the other side of that. When you meditate, you get beyond that. Monkey brain, but as monks call it. And you find... Oh, it's all calm actually down there. It could be stormy, but when you fly, when you take off on a plane, you go above the clouds and above that storm, it's all calm, it's just space. So into what you're doing wrong, right? The first thing you're massively doing wrong is making it way, way too hard for yourself is the thought that there is a way to meditate. There is, let me, let me explain that because other people will tell you otherwise. They'll say, Oh, you need to meditate for your chakras. You need to meditate on world peace. You need to meditate on becoming aligned. You need to meditate on finding your, you know, visualizing your dream future. Forget all these techniques. All these techniques are rubbish, all right? Because, and the thing is, the thing that happened to me, because I was into spirituality and all these different types of meditation, they're really exciting, visualizing my chakras and light and things like that. You actually forget that, do then, when you go down to sit down to meditate and actually be free of thought and peaceful in mind, you, you're trying to think, oh, what different techniques should I try today? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? You're constantly questioning, are you doing it right? That is the opposite of meditation. In fact, if I hadn't watched all the spiritual videos on different techniques and different types of meditation, I'd have probably been able to meditate better. It's another reason why I've stopped all the spirituality stuff. But basically, 
it's there is no proper way to meditate. So whatever restrictions are stopping you, free yourself of that idea completely right now. Okay? Literally set the bar so low for yourself. They'll say there is a special technique. There isn't. Straight up, sitting down and closing your eyes is 80% of the practice. Some people say, I can't meditate, I can't do it. I get thoughts, my thoughts come in, I can't stop my thoughts. It isn't about stopping your thoughts. 80% of it is sitting down and closing your eyes, okay? <laughs> and then once you finally give yourself a break and you sit down and just allow your thoughts to be there. Don't, don't worry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, I can't do it, I'm thinking, oh no, I had another thought. You're never going to get anywhere, all right? Just allow your thoughts to be there, whatever you're thinking. Lose that resistance, yes. It's, I'm thinking, hmm, I thought, hmm. But all the while, you're feeling your muscles, you're letting your muscles relax. You're letting your thoughts relax, you're letting your thoughts be there, undisturbed. And you're just feeling the oxygen go in and out of your nose. Remember, the next battle is be getting annoyed at thinking. Okay, that's the most stupid thing to do in meditation. Nobody starts, sits down and immediately goes straight into presence, okay? There's going to be thoughts floating around in the ether of your mind. The act of meditation, you may think, is getting to that state of presence, of clarity, of peace, undisturbed by thought. That's like the end goal. The end goal. It's like when you go to the gym, you know, the physique you want, that's the end goal. But it's a process of consistently going, pushing past resistance, progressively overloading. That's the art of it. And the art in this form of meditation, maybe the, the great state of mind, the clear thought, and the, the results you see after you meditate, in terms of your focus, in terms of your peacefulness, in terms of your state of presence and happiness over time. The art itself is your reaction to thoughts when they arrive. If you want to do a horrible job of the art, when the thought arrives, say like elephants you think of, you think, oh no, I'm thinking of elephants. I'm th no, thinking of elephants can't be it. The art is letting it pass by loving it just love those thoughts mm, elephants, yeah. <sighs> dissipates off how much are you going to think about elephants when you're telling yourself not to this is the basic law of, of life resistance makes it stronger and you know I could drag out this video and make it some long explanation but that is basically it there is no excuse not to meditate anymore Everything is so rushed. Everything is so mind-based now. You've got to sit down and give yourself that time. If I don't do it, I will react. I know I'll, you know, I can get aggressive and things don't go my way. I'll be like, oh, this is, uh... but that meditation just gives me that space between the the action happening and me having an emotional reaction to it. There's that presence between you. There's a space I've given where I can be like, oh, you can stop it before you do react. And if we lived in a world where everyone does this, there is literally no downside to meditating. You can do five minutes a day. Likely it is after five, six, seven minutes. You just want to stay in that state because you feel so good. You relax your body. It's just fundamental to making you more focused, to grow as an individual, and having that awareness, that peace, that calmness, to want good things for other people. That's pretty much it. And that's all I can say. Meditate now. Meditate today. Meditate. Put aside some time. If you don't say you don't have time, you're lying. You can put three minutes on your phone on a timer. You're going to spend half an hour scrolling through stuff on your phone anyway. So you can put three minutes on your timer and just sit down. Let your muscles relax. Breathe. And allow thoughts to be there. Meditate, okay? Simple as that. See you in a bit.